the washing of the hands for the bread meal. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to take all the premiums and to try to wash your hands the most best possible way. So now we're going to see that I want to show you guys something like this. Usually when you wash your hands for the bread meal or even in the morning, but I'm going to discuss the bread meal because it's very, very stringent. When you wash your hands for the bread meal, what you do is when you're going to fill up the cup, there's a few ways you can wash. One of the ways is, if you pour more than, if you eat more than three ounces of water onto one of your hands, that water never becomes impure. So I want to show you something, guys. It's better if somebody else can wash your hands, but I would like to show you that there's a way you can do it and to try to keep your hands pure. So one of the best ways to wash your hands is like this, guys. Let me put it to you like this. Make sure, number one, that your hands are completely dry. There's reasons for that. There's different halakhot for this. Just make sure that your hands are dry, not to have any problems. Now, when you hold the hand with the, when you hold the cup with the right hand and you go to pass it over to the left hand, a lot of times what happens is the handles are wet. So that means your hands are wet again. So once again, make sure that your hands are dry before you're going to wash. Also make sure that this handle is completely dry before you're going to take this handle back when you wash this hand. So when a person is washing, technically your hands have to be a little bit facing up. It doesn't matter up or down. Halakha says up, but whichever way you do it, you are fine. So when you are washing, technically what you're doing is like this. You want to be able to maneuver, you want to be able that the water is able to go all over your hand. And you should actually do it three times according to the Rizal, according to Kabbalah. However, it's enough for us to do it even one time because I poured more than three ounces. Now, what happens is like this, guys. Once you did it one time, you're going to do it again. A second time, try to move your arm. And again, a third time. Now, a lot of times the problem would be I got everything wet, Prokhashem. But a lot of times the problem would be, I want to show you guys something. When people wash their hands, pay close attention, there's a very big machloket. Halakhli, if you have to wash up to here or up to here. Mika Adin up to here is fine for the bread meal, but we say initially a person should always wash till here unless he doesn't have, not, unless he does not have enough water. What happens a lot of times, if a person washes like this, he pours his hands like this and he goes like this, a lot of times what happens is the fingers in between do not become wet. And a lot of times also the side over here does not become wet. So a person has to be very, very careful the way he washes his hands. So one more time, guys. I'm not going to dry my hands, but make sure the hands are completely dry. When you wash, keep your fingers open so this you're able to maneuver. One, two, three. Now this hand is 100% pure. Now, the reason why I told you to dry this, if this handle is wet and there was impure water on this, on the handle, if you're going to take this handle now with this hand, automatically this hand becomes impure. And what do you do? You think you're doing the right thing. You think that you're washing your hands according to Allah. Huh? And you go and you wash your hand three times, correct? And that's a problem because now your hand became impure. This hand is impure. You rub the hands together facing up. And then you say the bracha. Your both hands are impure because you had impure water initially there. Now guys, there's a very big makhluk in what causes the water to become impure, which I do not want to get into now, where there's the lectures why we made for that. But I put it to you very simple, guys. If a person goes ahead, make it very simple. If a person goes ahead and he washes like this. If a person goes ahead and he washes, for example, less than three ounces, for example. For whatever reason, guys, even if he touched his hand by accident like that, just a little bit. Or even if he picked up his hand just to try to fix something. Now pay attention, the water is dripping from my hands. If the water is dripping from my hands and if it goes on the clay over here, or even if it goes on my hand, even if I completely purify this utensil, I mean the hand, you have to understand the problem is, if there's impure water over here, once again, your hand becomes impure. But there's another problem over here. I want to show you something very important. If you had this impure water which came from this hand, when it was washed in less than three ounces in the first pouring, if, if my fingers are still wet over here, even if I do this 100 times, this hand will always stay impure. So therefore, when I go back like this again, I make both of my hands once again impure. So therefore, guys, the best way to do it is to try to have somebody else wash your hands because there's, we are afraid that you might come to touch your hand. Or the best way to do it is to try to pour more than three ounces at one time in every pouring. Now guys, halakhically, just let's put it like this, guys. I want to show you guys what the halakha says, okay? Again, guys, I'm taking all the stringencies. I'm doing this 
the best possible way. You hold the cup in your hand, make sure that the handle after you pass it over, make sure that this handle is completely dry. Guys, it's a very big stringency, there's different reasons why I'm saying this. And make sure that this hand is also completely dry. Halakhically guys, more than three ounces. This is more than three ounces, this hand is completely pure. I'm able now to take this, dry this hand, completely make sure it's dry. And like that. We take the hands, we rub them together. Then you say the brach of Alman Salat Yadayim. This is halakha guys. Now again, if you want to be more stringent, you can go ahead and do it three times or even two times. Let's assume that this is dry, my hands are completely dry. Once again guys, keep your fingers up or even keep your fingers down. But the main thing you should remember, try to always pour more than three ounces. So this way the, this water never becomes impure. One more time guys. That's it, once that is done, maybe put more water. You don't have to use so much water. I try to use a lot of water because the halakha brings down that if a person washes with a lot of water, Hashem will give him a lot of parnas, a lot of bracha. Once again guys, keep your hands, keep moving it, moving it, moving it. You're finished completely. All you have water everywhere, according to the Ben Shai, you could do it like this three times. Say the bracha and you are good to go. If a person for whatever reason did not rub his hands, that is not a problem. We do it only in order to be able to clean your hands very well. Okay guys, another problem you should be aware of, that Bezrat Hashem will see this in the future halachot, that if your hands are still wet, even a little bit where the moistness is able to pass down to another person, it's called in Hebrew, if your hands are still wet and you touch somebody else's hands, Guys, your hands once again become impure and you need to rewash your hands once again. So you always have to be careful after you wash your hands not to touch anybody else's hands that still did not wash his hands. Okay guys, this would be the washing of the hands part for today.